Under 25 is like all I care about. 24 is as good as zero, if you're asking me. So, sipping, sipping a few sips is worth it. Rather than drinking half of a bottle of liquor, I would rather drink a, a bunch of sips out of my chalice. We do have a lot of alcohol, though. We have like four bottles back in town. We have like a brandy, or like two brandies, two manshire. Um, I think we have an, a dark ale and a mead, too, so. We're, we're pretty good on alcohol, but I still want to keep stacking it up. But I hope you've done well, though. Have you been have you been playing much Stone Shard recently? Have you had any cool builds? Any interesting Stone Shard builds? My builds have been kind of boring. They've been rather rather generic, like pretty simple. But that's because we're not buying anything. I think the challenge is the exciting part, not the skills. Now I've reached my patch quota a few weeks back. Oh, okay, okay, I definitely understand. Definitely understand that. Uh, back to XCOM 2. Okay, let's go. I hope that's good fun. I never played XCOM, but it looks like a game I would really enjoy. Um, a tactical shoot, like where you control people, um, you know, like where you're just controlling like a unit of soldiers. That seems like really fun. Seems like a good game. And XCOM 2 in particular is like, you know, so famous. I could I could definitely play some XCOM. Good day, Necron. Good day, sir. How are you doing, Necron? How are you doing? Welcome on in. Good day to you, Necron. Hope you're well. Hope you're well. Glad to see you this morning. Took me too long to try it because I was never into alien stuff. Oh, okay. Well, I, I hope you're enjoying it now then. Is, is it a regular game for you? Do you play it like all the time nowadays? Or is it just something you picked up very recently? Outstanding game. I'm glad to hear it. I'm really glad to hear it. I've heard three was like good too, but I'm, I've heard two was like, you know, that's like the peak of the series. People really loved XCOM 2. Okay, hours in about two years. Oh, okay, so yeah, so it is It is a, it is a, a main game. It is a game you play quite a lot of. Well, that's good stuff. That is good stuff. Um, maybe one day, maybe one day XCOM will come to the show. That's, that's one that is like, you know, it's got a fan base. People love it. I think I would enjoy playing it. So if we ever hit like a, a cold period where there's no games to play, XCOM is one of the ones that I have, uh, in the back of my mind as a good possible, you know, like filler. Doing good. I'm doing good as well. I'm doing, I'm doing more than fine Necron. As usual, if I'm here streaming, that's an amazing day. So I'm, I'm doing lovely. We're home, dude. We made it all the way home. We talked all the way home. I didn't even notice it. We were just chilling, and we're here. That's the best part. That is that is lovely. So we, we came home with uh, nine total mind warts. You love to see it. Nice, nice. Let's go. Let's go. Here we have nine mind warts. We have uh, the chalice. That was lovely. We got some, what, six, seven arrows, seven arrows. That's good stuff. That is good stuff. That was a fine trip. Took a long time, but it always takes a long time, so... I'm okay with that. We made it. We made it back without dying. That's all that really matters. And the uh, the extra mind words are lovely. That is that is a great change. And we actually got new boots. There was an upgrade in there too. So overall, really good. Overall, really good. Now we're we just want to get rid of these gloves so I can get some gloves that actually do something. Um, you're gonna be buying healing salves and such. Yeah. Oh yeah. Nothing though. Literally nothing. Absolutely nothing. Um, these salves were found or uh, came from that quest at the beginning. The uh, the herb quest. I haven't used any salves on this character, I don't think. I've been holding on to them. But yeah, we're buying literally, literally nothing. And I've really been enjoying it. We did, we did like, the troll kill run the other day, um, where we didn't buy anything but meds. We couldn't buy gear was the, the, the limit. Um, and I've I've upped the ante from then to, to buying literally nothing. And it's been good fun. It's actually been great. Um, I'm worried that this dark ale is still stolen. Okay, it's not. It's not. We can pick that up freely now. We can take that with us. Yes, yeah, so we invested in the survival tree early to maintain, like, the, the meds. Um, and that's been going well. It's been working. It's been working. Okay, and we have all of these mind work. These are for when I go insane. That is that is sanity protection right there. Okay, drop the alcohol. Um, drop some of these meds off, because we don't need this many now. Now that we're back in a town, you know. If we go do a dungeon, we don't need a bunch of meds for that. Oh, I bet I found a bunch of straw just now, and I didn't pick up any of it. I bet there was plenty of straw there, and I didn't pick up a single bit. Okay, we're up to 23 arrows. Let's go. And we have the hunting crossbow, but, you know, it's pretty bad. I'm curious how the devs infinite alchemy. Will it just be poison potions or crafting all kinds of meds as well? Um, we were actually talking about this earlier. We were talking about this earlier, and I don't know. 
Surprised you aren't uh, carrying a full copper set and a healing staff. I would love to. So, so we have this this ring here. One of this one of this one. There we go. We have an ancient copper ring. I want to identify it. Um, and I don't know what I did with my healer staff from the from the 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 hermit's hut. Jeez, I, my brain broke. I actually just melted. Um, I don't know what happened to my healer staff. I must have left it behind. Um, but but I would love to have a copper ring. I just want to identify it before I throw it on. Um, we have the copper chain though, so we are wearing a little bit of copper, but. You were, you were exactly right. I, I definitely want more. I would love the copper rings. Um, and I don't know what I do with my healing staff. The reason we don't have it on the offhand for now is um, the the range of a spear. I can, I can attack from two tiles away with my spear. So I use this to be extra safe um, in the sword for, for bigger damage. Um, uh, I doubt there will be much for meds. I'm hoping there is, but I also doubt. I also doubt. By the way, how you doing, Stone Owl? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hope you're well. Yeah, I'm expecting the alchemy to be just for potions. My expectation is that it's going to be just making the potions. Um, Maybe, like, making vivies as well. I don't know. But I would be super stoked if you can make healing cells. That would be great. But I don't necessarily think that's going to be implemented. I think it's more likely to be just potions. Okay, this is empty. We're all good to go. We will uh, we'll get a room. Uh, passive to amplify herb effects. That would be sick. I would love that. If in the alchemy tree, there's a passive that's like herbs are twice as effective or something like that. I don't know. Whatever balance they, they feel is correct. That would be so cool. That would be great. I would take it. That's a passive I would take. Because some of the herb effects are pretty solid. You know, they're not amazing. Hope they don't drop the chance of Vivi and stuff to act, drop naturally if they had a new tree to make them. I'd be okay with that. I'd be okay with that. If if they made Vivi's a little rarer, um, in addition to making them craftable, I would I would be okay with that. Um, because you you can buy the Vivi's from from Bryn pretty easily. So as long as they're still you know available from that shop, I wouldn't mind their their drop chance going down. Because you can buy like you know two or three a week, two or three a day actually. It's an herb shop. It re it restocks daily. So. So yeah, the Vivis, there's like an infinite number of them as it is. All right, and there was a new quest. This was Source of Corruption, though. So this was just the, the last of the three. It hasn't fully reset. I think if, uh, if the full weeks of uh, quests had reset, we would be on a human dungeon right now. So I'm a little unsure of, of that. Okay, we're all good. Yeah, we're, we're good to go. Let me see. We'll go up and to the right. Northeast we go. Makes sense to be able to craft some healing salve and such. Crafting is planned and make a halt skills just beginning. Cooking will show us how good crafting in this game will be. I hope so. I sure hope so. I sure hope so. I, uh, you know, they, they, uh, crafting isn't even on like the, you know, the near horizon, you know, so I'm not, I'm not worried. About, you know, I, I try not to, to think about it too much. Is it not entirely seeking, uh, seeking makes sense? Their will is absolute. I don't know. I, they, they, I, they, 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 they I wouldn't say their will is absolute. They've made some some concessions, you know, like they've 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 bent to the the players' requests on some things. So I I, I don't know if I would agree with that. They they do like they they do have a pretty strong vision that they want to achieve, but you know, like they didn't want to add the, the 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 saving on quit. They didn't want to add the the beds or whatever for like the the make a halt for 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 making beds, you know, out in the world. I think that they've 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 you know been reasonable been reasonable with what they've what they've you know been to their players requests because it, it at the end of the day it's their game it's their vision i'm okay with them you know wanting to achieve what they want to achieve but i, I think they've made some changes that they you know that they they did at the requests of players i think they're you know pretty pretty strict with what they want but reasonable i don't i don't think it's unreasonable okay and we'll go in here I think, uh, I think interesting drop right of the cliff, so they're seeking the light. Maybe, maybe. I mean, I I don't think the game ever had a lot of like, you know, hype around it to begin with. I don't think there was a you know a big a big window where they had a huge like increase in player base or anything, and it fell off. But I don't know. I think they just have a vision they want to you know see to the end. But they're they're not I you know they're not too bad. They, if the if the player base really really requests something over and over, they seem to be like okay at adding it in. Um. Like, skinning being not a skill. They've said they would be okay with having people skin just meat instead of, you know, instead of taking the skill, you could skin without the skill and just get meat, not the belt. You know, stuff like that. So, I don't know. 
My coffee sure is delicious. Let's go. I'm glad to hear it. I'm glad to hear it. Did you do something special to it? Or is it just delicious this morning? Sometimes it just hits different. Sometimes you're just like, yo, this coffee is good. And you're like, what'd you do? Nothing. It's the same coffee I always made. Um, so there, there are definitely times when the coffee is just good. If you spruced it up with some like cinnamon or something, that could be cool. Put some hot chocolate mix in it. Okay, yeah, I'm dead. that sounds like a way to make coffee extra delicious. Indeed, indeed. That sounds yummy. Like a kindergarten mocha. There you go. Yeah, yeah. So I'm sure that's I'm sure that's great. You've done all three dungeons in the first village. Let's go. Let's go, Fujin. Good stuff. Um, now I don't know what to do. So um. Have you asked the elder for for the second task? Have, if you speak with the elder, the man that you get the dungeons from, um, not for 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 contracts, but the second task, um, he should send you to do a beer run. He should send you to uh to to clear out a brewery. Have you done that yet? Um, because that is that is generally the next step. Um, you can actually do that after doing one dungeon. You don't have to do all three to get the uh the uh, brewery unlocked yet. I caught myself on fire. Rip. Whatever. I got an enchantment scroll out of it. I'll take that as a good trade. Um, I didn't bring any alcohol. No, we'll go ahead and we'll, we'll drink the pain away. But I shouldn't have caught myself on fire. We need to stop taking damage. We need to have our spear out. Um, oh, no, the brewery is still not going there because because uh, so much points of interest. Oh, okay. Well, um, going to the brewery is uh, how you'll progress the game. So feel free to just wander around. Um, yeah, you, it's whatever you want to do. If you want to check out all the points of interest, that's fine. Um, it's, it's really up to you. Um, so feel free to check out as many points of interest as you would like. Wander around the map as much as you would like. Um, and if you do wait a week, like a week of in-game time, you will, uh, you will, you will get more contracts in Osbrook as well. But doing the brewery will uh, allow you to progress the game. So if, you, if you're looking to, to move on, that will be how you do it. Um, I would, I would recommend it. Should the character that is most definitely a wink to Northern Lion, though, myself included, that man brought this game's existence to their attention. Yeah, a lot of people, um, a lot of people, you know, played the game because NL did. But I mean, there's been others like Co-Carnage has played the game too. Um, there's been then there's been a handful of, of big streamers that played it. But I think I do agree. Uh, I do agree that like myself included as well. Uh, a lot of people found the game through NL. I don't know how he found it, but a huge number of people found it through NL. Um, so I would, you know. I'd be okay with a, a nod to Inno. But, yeah, I don't know. I don't think the devs will. That doesn't seem like their, their, their vibe. Maybe I'm wrong and they will, but it just doesn't seem like their vibe. Uh, we reset the loot. Yes, yes, yes. So if you, every, every dungeon, every week, the dungeons refresh themselves. They become new dungeons with new layouts, uh, possibly a new boss. Um, new, just new stuff. So, yeah, the dungeons refresh every single week. Um, and you can get quests from the, the Elder to do the dungeon every week as well. Um, so you just have to wander around for a week, and then you can get new quests. But um, they will they will be easy quests, though. Like, they'll be the same level of quests that you've done already. If you want tougher content, you need to do the brewery to progress to the next city. Um, the dungeons are attached to the city. So this city has these three dungeons. Uh, the one I'm at, this one, and this one. These three. Um, and then Manshire has three dungeons attached to it as well, and they're even tougher. And then there's another city with even tougher dungeons. And then there's also, they're called distant dungeons. There are dungeons off in like the corners of the map or whatever, like really far away from cities that are the toughest. Um, so I can find better enchanted gear, yes. And just better loot to sell, um, you know, for more money. Tougher enemies, uh, but yes, you'll find better gear in the better dungeons. Um, and the, the city, like, Manshire has better stuff to sell than Osbrook. And then the third city, which is down here, we haven't gotten to it on this character, has even better stuff to sell you than Manshire does. So, um, you do want to progress through the cities eventually. You know, but again, there's no rush. Like, if you just want to chill and, um, we're going to drink this. It's going to suck, but we're in a lot of pain. If you just want to chill and wander around in, in Osbrook for a long time, that's fine. Um... Eventually, you'll, like, you know, um, as you get really good at the game or whatever, you'll want to progress quicker because there are, like, you know, just some consequences to progressing slowly. But um, at, the, at, you know, as you, as a, at the beginning, as a newer player, just wandering around is completely acceptable. 
Um, oh, and please no swearing in the chat. Please no swearing. Um, get time to gear up in the first city and then go to Manshire. That sounds like a plan. That sounds like a plan. That sounds like a good plan indeed. I would I would recommend that. Uh, no rings and no good necklaces. Yeah, you won't you won't really get too much good jewelry in in the first city. Um, the the jewelry will come later. Oh, no problem, no problem. But yeah, the jewelry will come later for sure. Um. Once a week, the Evil Doers Guild goes, comes through and cleans up and restocks the guilds with trainee villains. Some say you're really lucky you can see their caravan traveling the road. Yes, indeed. That is how it happens. That is exactly how it happens. Um, if you take way too long to progress and level too much from random counters, you'll fall, fall behind the power curve to those random spawns. Yes. So if you do wander around a lot, like very heavily, um, and you level up from, from uh, just tier one dungeons... The, the game will get tougher. Like, as you level up, the game gets tougher, essentially. Um, there's there's more mechanics to that, but I won't go into the details. Um, so you don't want to level too much. That's what I was talking about earlier. As you get uh, as you progress into a more seasoned player, um, you'll 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 want to progress quicker and quicker. But on a, on your first characters, don't worry about that too much. Um, just just do what you want to do. You, it, it's not a huge problem to wander around. Uh, I would, if you're level seven and you're still doing the tier one dungeons, I would definitely recommend going to Manshire then. But level seven is, uh, you know, that that's my last level that I like to do tier ones up to, normally. But um, even even then, it's not a huge deal. ID scroll, that is so good. We need one of those. That is that is really important. We absolutely need one of those. So that is that is great. Very very happy to have one of those. We died a lot of stuff that power curve mechanic won't come into play. Yeah, that's yeah the the power the the, the excess power that the enemies get is is a, a, a more late game thing. Level four right now. Okay, yeah, then you're fine. You're fine. Feel free to explore and dungeon and quest and do whatever you want for for many many more many more levels. Um, but generally speaking, the earlier you get to Manshire, the better. Um, just to trade with the the folks in Manshire, getting their gear is always really good. Um, oh, it's a two-floor. I was like, where's the boss? We've done the whole thing, but it's a two-floor. Um, so on a on a like on a very min-max build, you would want to get to Manshire pretty quick. But again, it's not a it's not a big deal at all. I got really lucky to avoid that trap. I didn't mean to step on it. Um, and we're hungry. We'll just send it. We'll just send it. Escaping a dungeon full of loot and getting bit by a snake and dying is a highlight we all enjoy. Yes, yes, and of course. They did they did nerf the snakes though. It's, it's much tougher to die to a snake now. Um, the, the snakes are not nearly as potent as they used to be. They used to spawn in pairs of two, and they've removed that, so... They're, they're not as big of a problem as they used to be. It's been a long time since I've died to a snake. Which is good. Dying to a snake sucks, because they're invisible. Just, just getting bit by an invisible creature that just kills you is the worst, so... I'm really glad they nerfed them. They're, they're much more reasonable now. But even still, you want to keep your immunity up so that snake bites aren't aren't quite a problem. Because you can die to one snake bite. If you have zero immunity, you could die to a single snake bite for sure. Like, that's very, very possible, so. Definitely want the immunity up. Okay. I was like, what is this? But I don't know, it just looked weird when I saw it the first time. Okay, is it gonna bleed out? Yeah, it'll bleed out. I'll just chill instead. There we go. There we go. You love to see it. Homemade sword, literally garbage. I made my two snakes at the same time and barely survived. Go back to town for meds. Came back and have that two new snakes on the save spot. Now that's a highlight. Yeah, yeah. Um, that, and that used to be really common. The the double snake was like super common. So. It's it's. I'm really glad they removed it. That was that was super annoying. I hated the double snake. It was such a bad such a bad decision. Okay. Um, I'm gonna chill a little bit and let these heal up a touch. I don't necessarily want to use any of my meds for it, but we'll let them heal just a little. We're pretty hungry. Mm, we'll have to live with it. I'm glad they nerfed bears. Yeah, I don't I don't really remember bears being super aggro. I just don't. It's too long. You know, it's too long. It was funny, though. Yeah, I'm sure it was. Uh, looking back, I'm sure you got a good laugh out of it. But I don't really remember uh, how bears were, but I, I, I've been informed they were really aggro. I don't think I fought them much back in the day. I think I avoided them like the plague. So I never really had to struggle against them. Come on, sword book drop. I'm hoping for one, man. I would really like one. If we could get a two-handed sword book, I would just be over the moon. That would be very nice. I'm really open for one. The chance of getting one is pretty low, though. Like, honestly. So. 
I'm not really expecting one, at least not for like a long time. Maybe eventually, but I don't expect one early game. Use that and then merge. Okay, okay. Early, early, early actually lose me one out of three runs to aggroing a bear before a dash. That sucks. That really sucks. I don't remember it. I don't remember it. It's been, it's been far too long. I just simply don't remember what it was like back then. I think, I think I had the game back then, but I just don't know. Um, and we will probably never put that on, but we'll take it home with us. We'll take it back with us. And we're done. We are done here. I believe, I believe we're done here. Nah, there's a little bit left. There's a little bit left. We'll go over here. Um, and our, our body's pretty banged up, but that's okay, I suppose. We're getting really hungry. We'll, we'll have to hunt on the way home or something. Maybe we could check one of the barrels and steal something. I don't know. But I'm going to go for the, the spear so that we don't uh, we don't take any more limb damage. At least no more than we have to. Please immobilize. Okay, there we go. And we'll kite. We'll kite away and do the same thing. We'll get our cooldowns back, and then we'll we'll kick, and we'll, uh, we'll, we'll stab it to, to range. Okay, he should be nearly dead. Yeah. Well, we can stand here and kill him. There we go. He missed. Didn't even take any damage. You'll love to see it. You'll love to see it. I thought I might have taken one hit, but got away with no hits, so perfect. Okay, and the rat should die in one hit. Yeah, it's just a rat. I skipped an extra turn. No, that extra turn was useless. I'm going to fix the, the limb right now. Um, well, it's broken again. Of course it's broken again. I don't know why I even fixed the limb. Whatever. Oh, we're in a lot of pain, too. This is this is not good, necessarily. I'm going to go ahead and use this, but that's going to cause even more pain. Yeah. That's okay. That's okay. The pain, the second wind really helped with the pain. That is good stuff. Um, yeah, the pain, the pain back down to, like, no, th like nothing. Under, under 50. It's beautiful, beautiful stuff. Okay, we are really hungry and in pain. Um, I might just send it. I might just leave. I don't know. Is this the final bit? Uh, it, I will just send it. I think this is the, the final bit. I will just finish the dungeon out. We shouldn't go up to 50 hunger. So. Again, 25 hunger is a small change in morale. It's like not good, but it's okay. 50 hunger is really bad. 50 hunger plus pain, we'd be losing morale left and right. Secret room for my efforts? Nope. Okay, rip. Ooh, salve. Let's go. That's really good. That is really good. We'll drop this gold nugget. Sure. Sure. Why not? My magic powder helps with pain. Does it? Does it? Hmm, negative 60 pain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go. I forgot about that. I think we even talked about that before, how I might use that for, like, pain res. I was like, ah, probably not, but maybe. That's a good call. Thank you, Necron. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, because this this will go out eventually. Like, I'll, I'll run out of this, but who cares? I don't think it has any, any negative, like, follow-up, so. Yeah, having that pain gone is great, because my morale was dropping pretty heavily from pain and hunger, so. Thank you so much. That is good tech. That is really good tech. You love to see it. Okay, so we'll uh, not step on the trap, and we'll try to uh, hunt something on the way home. If I can, if I can get just a just a little bit of food, that would be great. And yeah, there's forests too. We we should be able to come across something. I, I guess we could just get mushrooms if nothing else. Is my backpack full? It's full of garbage though. I'm just gonna throw this stuff down. I honestly don't care. So I can put this in the backpack. And put that too. There you go. Um, because now I have room to uh to hunt for like or to pick up chanterelles. Sticks and mushrooms. So that we will. That we will. Pick up the chanterelles. It's going to be so terrible trying to find stuff with the drug vision going. I hate the drug vision. I really wish this was not part of the game. It just makes the game harder to look at. I, that's, I have no idea why the devs added it in. I, I'm so against it. Oh, you all know. I hate it. I'm so against it. So, so very against the drug vision. Symmetrical backpack. Was it? Oh, let's go. I could go like that. We'll just live like that. Okay, so we have the sticks now. We just need some mushrooms. Koi powder, totally not coca. Yes, yeah, all the drugs are references, obviously. It's like Rimworld, you know. They call it something slightly different, but we know what it is. Okay. Everything's like, I wonder if it's epilepsy. Yeah, epilepsy inducing and such. I mean, like, honestly, like, yeah, like, it, like, it, it, it's, if you have any, anything, like, any strain on your vision, that's got to be terrible. Like, you know, like that, if you have any vision problems, that's got to be so straining for you is what I'm trying to say. It's got to be so, so annoying to see that. I don't even have a vision problem and it still bothers me. Like, I still don't like it. So 
It make it's just so tough to like like it's it, just imagine you've never watched Stone Shard before. You popped into the stream just now and you saw the psychotic drug vision. You would be like, "Well, I'm never playing that game." Be like, "Oh god, the game looks like that. I'm not playing that." Like, why would just why would they have it in their game? It just seems like such a bad idea. Like it's like all negative, no positive. If there's no there's no upside. It's the rare all negative decision. It's the decision where no one wins. So I, just, I wish you could turn it off, or I wish they didn't develop it at all. Um, not better, Sag. Sag, I really want a better chest piece, man. Um, I, I would love one. Okay, let's go ahead and start this fire up. Let's go ahead and ignite it, and then we'll cook. I'll just walk around first. We can cook later. I'll pick up a few more mushrooms first. Okay, and the chanterelle, of course, give you the, the sanity, so that's why I'm going after them. Not sanity, excuse me, to give you morale. I wish they gave you sanity. That would be lovely. They do not. Cook all these bad boys up. And then we'll rest while I eat them. I auto-sorted the inventory. I'm so mad. <sighs> Whatever. I'll throw stuff down. We'll fix it after we throw everything down. I don't need a warning everything. It's, it's a them problem. Yeah. That's true. That's true. I mean, I, I don't... I actually disagree. I said yeah without even really forming an opinion. I super disagree. I'm okay with a warning on everything. Um, I just read it and was like, yeah, but then I was like, no, I don't agree with that at all. I'm okay with the warnings. I don't mind having to click through a, a message that says that. Such a low percentage, but I mean, there's, you know, it's it's a low percentage, but like, it's, it's one second of my life to possibly save someone from a lot of suffering. You know, like, I'll make that trade. I'll make that trade all day. I will click through a, a, a warning on, you know, every game I play, if that means that someone doesn't have to, you know, suffer a seizure for it. Even if it's just one dude, you know. I think that's a fair trade. I just, I mean, just, you know, it's, it's, I, I think it's okay. I don't think there's a problem at all warning people that this game could trigger, you know, this or that within them. You know, any, any, anything they're suffering from. I don't think that's bad at all. How many people get on? But I mean, like, what if it's, even if it's just one, like how many people? Probably not many. But what if, what if one person doesn't realize they have epilepsy or are prone to seizures from, from bright lights, from some other, you know, disorder? Um, and, you know, they, they, they have, they suffer a seizure because they didn't get a warning. Um, you know, like it's, it's, if one person has to, you know, not struggle, then that's fine. I mean, again, like it's, it's literally, it's probably very unlikely. I'm not arguing that I think it happens often. I'm just arguing that the, the, the concert, like the, me having to click a button is worth, even if it's, you know, all of us having to click a button like 20 times or whatever, you know, for every game we play is worth one person possibly not having a seizure. I think that's an acceptable trade. I would make that trade. I'm I'm totally okay with the the warnings for epilepsy. That is that is, you know, it, I think it's so I think it's perceived as a normal thing and not to and more to avoid. I mean, yes, it is it is to avoid lawsuits. The, 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 I don't think the game devs are putting it in for any any other reason. Um like the caution hot coffee situation, yeah. But I mean again, in that situation McDonald's was serving their coffee too hot. McDonald's was serving coffee intentionally burning hot so that you wouldn't get refills. You know, like they, they like she was, she actually got scalded by coffee that was way hotter than human consumption levels. Um, you know, I, th I think she, she was in the right there. They were, they were intentionally like burning people so that you wouldn't get refills. I don't, I don't think that lady did anything wrong at all. Um, jewelry over here. I was like, we need to throw this stuff down. Do I have a potion spot yet? Nah, we've just been throwing them. I'll just throw this potion, then that's fine. We'll keep the alcohol on us. We'll keep the one med. Um, I'll drag this over. I guess I'll drag this over. That can go there, sure. It's not how I normally keep it, but that's fine. This is a weird-looking inventory, but we'll live with it. I actually kind of hate it. I'm going to go ahead and move everything over. Not what I meant to click. There we go. There we go. Okay, are we all filled up? Let's let's get a quest. There should be one available. And we, we need to eat, but that's fine. We'll eat on the road. We'll, we'll go get more chanterelles and stuff. Wait, find the source of corruption. Did I not finish the quest? Why did I leave then? What? Oh, dang it, dude. I didn't finish the quest. I do that all the time. Hey, everybody. Quist Gaming here. If you're enjoying the content, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. It truly makes a difference. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time.